welcome to the, the briefing room. And uh, as you can see, we have Ambassador Geraldo Munoz, the permanent representative of Chile to the United Nations, and Her Grace uh, Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York. And they're here to brief you on the situation in Chile. So please, um, Ambassador. Uh, th thank you very much, and thank to, to you all for coming to this uh, press conference, and thanks so much to Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, for accompanying us, and uh, by her being here, express the concrete solidarity of the international community towards the tragedy of Chile. As you know, by the news, uh, Chile has suffered a quake of uh, historical proportions, uh, one of the uh, five strongest quakes ever registered in the history of the world, 8.8. .8. If you compare it to the tragedy of Haiti, which was 7.0, uh, Chile's quake was about 350 times stronger in terms of force than, than that of Haiti. So we're talking about a truly a traumatic uh, event uh, for our country. The destruction is much greater than we had suspected at the beginning. Uh, it includes about two million homeless people in my country, including women, children. Uh, the loss of major infrastructure from naval shipyards that have disappeared to churches, to homes, uh, buildings, uh, both private and government, um, highways, that have been destroyed, bridges that have collapsed. Um, one of the problems in the country was the loss of communications very early due to the fall of towers that were important to cellular communication and uh, the uh, breakdown, uh, the tearing of the uh, fiber optic uh, uh, cable. But uh, Chile is uh, standing up. Uh, we are uh, uh, recuperating slowly. Santiago is near normalcy right now and the problems is still remain in the area of Concepcion, uh, Talca, uh, Curico that are still without uh, to a great extent but not wholly without electricity and water. But the restoration is such that um, uh, bank tellers, uh, automatic bank tellers in Concepcion even have been restored and available for to 30% this morning to about 58% uh, in, in the other regions hardest hit. So life is becoming to be normal. And what we have ahead is the enormous task of reconstruction. And thus the solidarity of the international community is, is very important. Uh, today, at this very moment, the Secretary General Ban Ki-moon is landing in Santiago. And he will be visiting the region's hardest hit in Concepcion, in Talcahuano, and, and others. He will also participate in a telethon, 24-hour telethon, that is being organized by an important Chilean figure, uh, Don Francisco, who is very well known in the television in this country, uh, that will uh, take aid, hopefully to gather $30 million in 24 hours, uh, through the contributions of those interested. Um, I can distribute the information. It is called uh, Chile Assist or AIDS Chile. And at the same time, with a group of interested uh, people here in New York City and at the UN, and I want to highlight the contribution of the UN Partnerships Office, we have uh, set up a, a website called Chile Hopes that uh, will be receiving the contributions of... Uh, artists and singers, and the songs that they download will go precisely to the re relief of their families' hardest hit. Uh, we will auction works of art, and I must say that, again, thanks to the UN Partnerships Office, uh, we have uh, uh, received the promise on the part of uh, artist, painter William Ho uh, for um, works of art worth about $100,000 and perhaps more that will be auctioned in this site. So these are some of the initiatives that are, uh, are uh, going on. Um, I must say that uh, the story is not finished uh, today. This morning we had an aftershock of 6.6 .6 in Concepcion, 
It's just uh, a few hours ago. Uh, anywhere else, that is an earthquake uh, dimension. Uh, I, I read that yesterday there was a quake in Taiwan of 6.4. This was an aftershock of 6.6. .6. So uh, by no means have we overcome uh, this tragedy. It will take a long time, and that's why it is so important to have Sarah Ferguson with us, to have the international community so that Chile uh, can feel that it's a company. I know that Chile is not alone because of the interest that we have observed from from many member states and from the international community in, in general. So thank you very much. And uh, I suppose that. Thank uh, you. Please uh, I'll pass the floor to the Duchess of York. And just very briefly, also, we do have with us um, Amir Dossal, who's the executive director of the UN Office uh, for Partnerships. And I'd like to invite him to come up and sit in my seat in the second uh, after the Duchess of York has spoken. Yeah. Okay, um, well, thank you very much, and um, Your Excellency, you know, we're here to support you in any way we can. And I think it's vital um, that uh, we get and raise the awareness and continue to raise the awareness so we honor your words, uh, which are with action, not just words. And I, I think the um, Chilean government have done such an extraordinary job over the course of the last years to really improve improve human resources and school education and really providing women with education, that um, now we need to back it up further by making sure that we can support you um, on an international basis. So you have my word that I will return, I will go to Chile in four weeks to five weeks with perhaps a very, uh, finding very rich Chileans that would like to come with me and we can see how we can uh, back up the words that we're going to say today. So uh, my, I'm here as a mother. And right at this very second, there are four million children without a home in Chile because of this earthquake. And uh, I think that it is without any question of doubt that we have not just this minute and next week, we have to continue every second of the day to try and raise enough of the awareness and the funds to rebuild those houses quickly. And uh, you mentioned um, uh, un techo para Chile. A roof for Chile. Well, I think that's the key of this press conference today. We must now rally and support the president quickly and all of the Chilean people to make this possible. So um, I, I think right now that I want to say thank you very much to the um, UN, or UNOP. You know, it's easy, easier. Um, the partnerships, Amir Dassal and Lucy and the team there. Um, I think this is a great example of how the UN does really work quickly to, to see what can be done. And I think that um, that's why I'm very proud to stand here today, because I think uh, we really can support you and see how we can See, see how we can raise awareness to do what we say we're going to do. Uh, you, you mentioned um, earlier on that the actual the actual. Um, the actual quake really hit very badly. A lot of museums, schools, and all the um, and all it was on the on the coast, and all the fishing villages are now completely annihilated. Is that correct? It is. It is. Yes. Yeah. It is. And so, uh, I mean, for everybody out there who's watching this, what can they do? I mean, you you said they could go a roof for Chile on Church of Para Chile. That's a dot org, isn't it, Camilla? And then hope for Chile. Mm -hmm. So, if they went, anyone watching right now, if they want to help a child in Chile. And, sorry? Chile hopes. Chile hopes. Chile hopes. hopes. Chile hopes. <laughs> Not hope for Chile. Chile hopes. Okay. So if anyone wants to, it's very important that, um, that in a month's time when we, go, when we go back there, that we can quickly make sure that we keep the awareness on to seeing what we can do. So thank you very much indeed. And uh, now I hand back to you, Martin. Thank you. Okay, please. I should underline that chilehopes.org. Uh, Gabriela Mistral Foundation, also Un Techo para Chile. You can find all of those in the web, and they are all receiving online uh, donations. Uh, and I would encourage you to, uh, for your readers, for, for your viewers, uh, to, uh, to consult and hopefully to donate. Thank you, Ambassador Munoz. I I think it, it must be said that uh, our hearts go out to the people of Chile who are impacted and as the Duchess rightly pointed out that there are a number of people impacted uh, by this event. Today the Secretary General uh, is in Chile. Uh, the, the good news is that there are a number of people from the private sector who have expressed an interest in supporting uh, 
the people of Chile. Yesterday, we hosted a conference call with the Association of Small Foundations, uh, which is an umbrella association. A number of members were present. Uh, it, and they have uh, now uh, sent a message out to all their members in terms of the long-term development needs of Chile. In the meantime, uh, I think the press has, must have picked up a number of the uh, multinationals have started uh, their donations. Walmart made a commitment uh, of one million. Uh, Hewlett Packard, half a million dollars. Uh, they just announced that today to us. Uh, we've also talked to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce uh, to see how the uh, private sector in the U.S. can actually get engaged. Ambassador Munoz pointed out that the real challenge is uh, rebuilding Haiti, uh, uh, rebuilding uh, Chile, and Haiti too as well, by the way. And we're helping Haiti. Yes, and, and in fact, the Chilean government had provided uh, a contingent for Haiti right at the time of the earthquake, incidentally. So, uh, the, the, as I said, the real challenge is to assist in the rebuilding process. And we see this as a dual uh, component. One is a component of corporate social responsibility, but at the same time, it's an opportunity for investing in Haiti. And that's what we, uh, what we think can really make a difference and attract the private sector. Uh, there are two other organizations who are uh, embarking on this effort. One is the European Foundation Center, which is an umbrella association of 500 plus foundations globally. And then uh, the Committee Encouraging Corporate Philanthropy, which is our core partner, which in fact partnered with us in the uh, ECOSOC event last week. So, uh, Mr. Ambassador, that's in summary, and we stand ready to help. I think, also we must, um, I think there's an awful lot, I've told by Camilla, there's an awful lot of pregnant women and mothers that are on the street that have no way of uh, knowing what to do. We need to get uh, tools, uh, hygiene kits, and I know Care International, I'm going to talk to them later to see what they can provide. But I mean, I think that it is essential that we all go back to the basics, that every second now we need to make a difference. So it's important on that front too. Thank you. Um, would Thank you, you would you like to talk about Mother's Army concept? Oh, yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, so as, as I started this, I'm here um, as a mother, and uh, I decided that I, I'm going to start an initiative, which I mentioned t 10 days ago here at the General Assembly, to, in order to um, really mobilize mothers all over the world. And uh, I would be the general. Hmm bossy general and uh, under that would be uh, I would be able right this very second to to find the information out from a mother in Chile in the worst hit areas then I would put her as my appoint her as my colonel right now in Concepcion and I would ask her immediately every day to give me a, a lowdown on what's going on then I can then go to all the mothers whether it be Michelle Obama or, or, or very famous mothers, and, and don't forget men have mothers too, so it's not just, it's not just a women's thing. Although um, I'm very pr proud to be supporting Chile because of their gender equality and how they really do um, have educated women. I think Chile is a great example of women empowerment, and I think the president has done an extraordinary job of giving uh, women the education and the right to work. So I think that's very important to be said. Um, so to find um, a good woman colonel in Concepcion now is what I'll do in four weeks' time. And then she will be able to have a direct link to me and I'll be able to see how I can mobilize the private sector through UNOP um, to see how we can really make a difference. And I think that's key because then you're listening to the voice of the people on the street right now who are saying, there is no water sanitation, there is no hospital care, there is no way we can survive tonight and there's no food. I can then hear and then we can talk to Amir and um, Ambassador Munoz and say, okay, come on, we need to do something quick. That's it. So the Mother's Army Initiative it will be launching probably around September once I've got my act together. Um, but I think it will be a very good example how we can we show success through, through Chile. Thank you.